Okay. We're just gonna play. We're just gonna have a little play. Just see how things are. It's been a while. I haven't played as BBT in a while. So I thought I'd say, uh, yeah, as we all know if you've actually pay attention to video game news at all, uh, Acted Blizzard are a bunch of assholes and you shouldn't support their fucking products at all, because uh, they're pretty fucking bad. But um, I bought this beforehand, before I knew that, and there's no ethical consumption in this hellscape we live in, so... Good news, minuscule good news amongst the miasma of garbage, which is the Kotick verse. But, uh, yeah. They seemingly tried to back off the oppressive microtransaction heavy economy in this game. It's still there. But now. You get more from winning races. You get more Wumper Coins, I think. Seems to be getting a lot more Wumper Coins, so I thought that was worthy of noting to people who are like, Hey, I liked Crash Team Racing until Activision decided to do their shit. And, um, yeah. They kind of put it back now that it's been a few months, maybe a while actually, since the DLC came out. The final DLC has come out, it's been a few months, everything's still expensive, but you earn more coins faster. So take that for what you want. Basically they went, oh, this cow's dry, we're gonna just make the paddock bigger. <laughs> So, it doesn't change the fact that it's kind of grindy, but uh, I've still got a little bit of stuff to do in the game, so to be honest, there isn't much else I want. <coughs> so what i got left in this game uh, to unlock is one character I give a shit about, basically, uh, maybe some costumes if I feel bored, and a few more cards. Because, really, aside from doing all the bullshit you have to do to unlock Entropy, uh, they released Lab Assistant, and I was like, oh, cool, you can play as Lab Assistant. Nice. They released Lab Coat for this game, too. <laughs> I wonder if he's as OP as Dragon Ball Z's Lab Coat. Uh, but, like, um, I mean, Fighter Z, you know, you know what I mean. So I was just like, yo, that's cool. The only other thing that I saw that was kind of cool aside from costumes was that there was something about if you do something specific in adventure mode, you can unlock King Chicken, which is, I don't care about that. That feels like very like early era internet meme culture, like, haha, <laughs> chicken, funny. Like, you know, how it went from chicken to, like, alpaca or llama, funny, haha, <laughs> animal funny, then capybara, you know, it's just, people think it's cute and funny and you don't know why. And then there's merch for some reason. Uh, and goat. Goat is funny, haha, <laughs> goat, goat simulator. Yeah, it feels very of that era, but, like, um, you know, anyway, um, This is much easier. Like, normal is like piss take easy. And then hard is like you will never win. <laughs> I need to get good. Uh, so, yeah, uh, there's some other thing you can do to unlock a, the ability to drive as a crate or something. And I was like, yo, I want to drive as a crate, but I don't know if I really want to grind that much, you know, and do everything in the game for it. So. Probably not, you know. I'd have to check the requirements. Uh, aside from that, if I'm bored and I have more money than sense, I may at some point start playing online. Uh, I was thinking, like, 
am I going to buy a gold membership just so that I can play like some fighting games online and then play this kart racer online <laughs> for the lulls? Uh, I may, just to spice up the channel a bit, because I feel like fighting AI that's either busted OP or just a walk in the park is getting kind of boring in both mediums. So I may just... Uh, to mix it up for the channel, you know, but we'll see. We'll see how things go We need to beat these fucks Kill them all I say especially the younglings No, Torna's killing me This this green guy I don't care about is killing me Yeah <laughs> So yeah, like uh, that's basically the roadmap of shit I would like to do with this horrible grindy game that's slowly becoming less grindy. Sadly though, the pit stop is still randomized and you don't get to choose when things show up and that's annoying. I was really hoping- oh, servers are gone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now they're back. We didn't like that corner. Uh, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, like... Uh, I don't know why I still play this game other than, like, I'm obsessed with Crash Team Racing and always have been from the very first game, so... Yeah, like... I would say if you thought, wow, this guy really likes this game, maybe it is that good. Maybe I should spend all of my time and money on it, don't. <laughs> like, it's not that good. I just have a very weird kind of attitude with this game and like most people, better YouTubers than I have said like this is a fucking mess. It's designed to exploit children who have no concept of money and it's horrible and it's basically a nostalgia farm and you're paying full price for a game and then they go cool, you paid full price for a game you don't get all the content, fuck you, pay more microtransactions that are really expensive, and it's like, I don't think that's fair. Like, it really is not fair, especially for children. That's really, ex that's really abusive. <clears throat> and the fact that you're basically paying for a literal fucking rapist's fucking, like, bonus at the end of the year, and a piece of shit like that, you're like, nah, no nah, thanks, like, so, with that aside and the horrible ethics of it, like, because, yeah, you know, everything you enjoyed as a child has been ruined by a creepy rapist CEO who just gets away with it because he has money. <laughs> Yay! Children's game! Yes! Oh, well. <coughs> If there's a video game that has microtransactions that's like, hey man, for every penny you give us, we will throw Bobby Kotick down a flight of fucking stairs uh, for every dollar you give us, I would probably give them a lot of money. So, you know, I'm not saying do that, but I am saying I will financially <laughs> fund that, so I, I guess I am a bad person, but... Ah, well, you know, like, I don't see throwing an asshole like that down the stairs a problem, really. <laughs> like, it's not like I know where he lives or anything, so it's not like he has to worry. <laughs> this is sounding more and more like something that's going to get taken off YouTube. Uh, I like the video game. Look, T-Rex go fast. Uh, <laughs> what have I been listening to lately? Let's change the subject. I have been listening to a very cool band called Entrails <laughs> that you guys should check out. Uh, I've been specifically listening to The Tomb Awaits, which is a great album that will tear your face off if you just love hardcore death metal. Uh, one of my favorite tracks on the thing at the moment is a Collection of Cracked Heads is pretty good for the gym. I've been listening to, as well for the gym, uh, Witch Vomit. I 
forget which one it was specifically. It was something like Drag Dun Drag Beneath Sunken Under. I can't remember. I have to check. And uh, revisiting some old ones. Revisiting some classic era Lamb of God. Uh, like uh, Lead to Rest and like stuff like that, you know, and uh, Ruin. It's pretty good. I'm more of a hits guy with Lamb of God. I know that means I'm kind of lame, but like, there's some cool shit in Lamb of God. Uh, some Pantera, just, you know, my favorite album of Pantera is, uh, as always, Far Beyond Driven, but I was listening to some stuff like Domination from Cowboys from Hell, you know, uh, Suicide Note Part 2, uh, and I'm Broken, uh, that is on, um, Far Beyond Driven, isn't it? And some stuff from Vulgar Display, as usual, so just some classic stuff, you know? Now on some Cannibal Corpse, I was listening to uh, Five Nails Through the Neck and as deep as the knife will go. Pretty good. And some Crowbar. I really liked Crowbar's single off of, uh, I think it was a single, off of uh, Odd Fellow's Rest. Uh, sit, sit back and watch the planets collide. No. Watch the planets collide. I don't know why I added a section that's not in the song. <laughs> That's a good track, it's very sludgy, very big doom riff, love it. Yeah, so it's been pretty good. Uh, oh, I listened to Ghost's new album. Can't say I like it. Like, and yeah, you know, oh, Metalhead is pretty in there, doesn't like Ghost. I actually didn't mind uh, Meliora, I want to say. The one that came out before this one. It had a few catchy ballad tunes, and I was like, oh, this isn't bad. I like this. Like, I like Dance Macabre. I said it wrong again. Uh, like, Witch Image, stuff like that. I thought it was all right to listen to when you're in that mood. Square Hammer, which was from the album before that, was pretty good. But this one didn't really have any, like, catchy, like, tunes for me. Uh, it had Little Sunshine. I didn't really love that very much. It's just kind of okay. It's like... Uh, I was never really big into that sort of kind of vibe, so when they go more into that kind of genre, I'm just like, eh, you know, it's not goth enough for me, and it's not like spooky enough for me, and it's not heavy enough for me. So, like, when they're catchy, they're catchy. When they're not catchy, I, they don't really have much for me. No offense to Ghost, though. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, listening to Ibaraki as well, which I'm probably also saying wrong. Uh, Matt Heafy's Black Metal Project with uh, Isan, <laughs> which I'm also saying wrong. Uh, really good actually, and like I was saying to my friend, like, like on one of the tracks, Gerard Way is on it, and he does black metal style vocals, and I'm like. You see, if My Chemical Romance did this all the time, I would listen to My Chemical Romance. Like, the only album I ever listened to of uh, MCR was uh, The Black Parade, and that was obviously when I was about 14, so you can imagine I was the key demographic then. <laughs> oh, well, I fucked that up. Should have known that was too wide. Never mind. Ish fine. I can drive. Wow, this is going faster than I thought, actually. Is this track... three already? Track four? Did I miss something here? I've never been talking too much. Oh man, we went through Koala Carnival like nothing. I was too busy talking. Wow, these are faster as well, it feels. Uh, yeah, so that was been pretty good. Uh, the thing I was listening to lately, and I was like, man, that's pretty fucking good. It'll probably come to me when I finish recording. Ish, fine. Oh, final lap. Oh, they're going around me now. I must. It mustn't just be a points victory, I must... It isn't enough that I succeed, it's more that others should fail. <laughs> Come on, 
Kimmin! Kimmin! <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. No! <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Big crash. Oh! And you. You're all on my list. Especially you, chicken boy. Dinosaurs will eat you all. Must destroy all. Damn it, I'm third. Rawr. Beaten by a green thing and torna. Still a points victory, but it should have been complete domination. So like I said, I feel like we're getting more coins, but you can look back through the video and check. Each race, it feels like they're just giving you more coins than they did before. Like before it was like 10 to 20, and then you had to do the daily challenges to really get it up. And now it's like you win the championship and they give you a little bit more. And it just, like the little bits like that actually do really help to like make it feel less like a miserable grind fest that I don't care about, so... I mean, yeah, but, you know... I win! <laughs> so maybe we'll do online matches if I feel like buying gold. Maybe. We shall see. It could be fun, I think. It could be fun.